Hello and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. We've still got a lot of jobs waiting with more coming in all the time so we better get cracking. And uh, yeah I know that some of these jobs are quite similar but once we have progressed and we've got more experience we will be able to do a lot more challenging things. So uh, despite it taking quite a while to begin with we will be able to do a lot of interesting things very very soon. So first of all we're going to do the brake systems on a Royale Crown. We'll take this job. And here it is. So first of all, we better see what's going on with it. Uh, brake calipers and brake disc ventilated. Okay. So we'll put this up on the ramp. On the lifter. And we'll inspect what is going on. Looking good all around here. Aha, there's one. Looks okay here. And that one just there as well. So that's one of the calipers. There should be two calipers, I think. Yeah, I think there should be two. Ah, oh, the caliper for this one. Right, okay. So we'll put it into the disassemble mode. And as usual, we will get these tyres off, the wheel off. Generally not looking in too good condition really. And yeah, I think yep, yeah, this brake disc ventilated, okay. Um so we better get the pads off. We'll leave that car like that at the front and now for our rear one this caliper just here okay so I think everything else is generally in very good condition a few uh, imperfections here and there but we'll be able to buy our new parts now in the car parts shop. So we need brake calipers, brake disc ventilated, um, and we need brake calipers. Brake caliper, this one here. We need two of those. And that should be this car done. Nice new one in there. Get that wheel on. Okay, and the other side. Oh. And the wheel this side as well. Okay then, so I think that is everything on our job sheet. Yep, so we can finish that job there and we can move on to our next one. Back over to the phone, we've gained more experience. Okay, so uh, looks like we're doing engine oil and filters. We do these quite a lot. We do. Um, I could actually possibly do some off screen so I progress through these more repetitive tasks and then when we've got some higher experience we will be able to continue then which is probably quite a good idea actually because then we will have to keep repeating the same thing over and over again in the videos. But we need to drain the old and refill with new with an R4 filter. So I can buy the filter now, um, that will be down in O really easy to spot because of the three different colours. Put this on the lifter. We'll bring the oil drain pan over. I think we're lined up.
good. And the oil filter. Now put a new one on. The sun plugs back in. So we can now put our oil drain pan back over here and put some new oil in. No, I need to drop this, there we go. Is that a ladder? Garage customization. Ooh. Um I'm guessing you have to yeah, you have to have experience for this. But yeah, you can change stuff, that's nice. Okay then, so oil. Need to lower it down. And we want to be in the engine. W30 oil, premium motor oil, manufactured by oil company. Hmm. And that should be, I think, we will just check. Yeah, that's on max. So that is another car completed. And we can now move that on. Finished job. And that is car number two complete. We have done these jobs before, but we will be able to move on. Now this one might be different. Find and fix any running gear problems, sloppy car steering. There's a list provided with all these. I'm, I'm looking forward to ones like this one here because we won't have a list provided. Make it much more challenging. We do of course have to take the job. All right, take job. Okay then. So lower suspension arm, rear spring, rubber bushing, rubber bushing, sway bar, rear and link, okay. Um, so we can buy these parts straight away, if I can remember them all. Lower suspension arm, rear spring, two bushings, and sway bar rear and link. Okay. As we're down here, we'll get the sway bar first of all. Sway bar, rear and link. Front end link, rear end link. We also want rubber bushing times two. The rear spring. Rear spring. And lower suspension arm. So that's quite a variety of different things which is wrong with this car. We will put it on lifter as usual. Left lifter. put this into an examination mode. There is our front suspension linkage. The rubber bushings tend to be quite hard to see, especially from this angle. Okay, so that, that is the obvious thing. We'll go for this one first, I think. We'll get the wheel off. I think everything else is generally okay in here. Ah, oh, no, there are rubber bushings. That's easy to see. Good, that makes it easier. And they can probably actually come out straight away. Good, so we'll now do the lower suspension arm. And that is removed from here. Put a new one in and then we can put the wheel back on. And then that will just leave, um, what was the rear end sway bar, I think. Possibly one of the thing. That's that one, good. And yeah, we need to inspect under here. Oh yeah, the spring, all on this side. So disassemble mode, something obviously needs to be coming off the wheel. And then can we get to it? Possibly. Uh, yep, good. And the spring, that'll be, there'll be possibly a cap. Yep, absorb a cap and the spring. Put the new spring on, cap back on, rear end link, 
and yeah I think then just the wheel good and that is the running gear problems fixed now for the sloppy car steering so we've done the sway bar rear end link which is obviously all involved with both of these problems but the outer tie rod as well I'm guessing that is the front because that would be to do with the steering um, number three let's inspect just there just the one so we'll go over here uh, that means of course removing the wheel in fact most jobs involve removing the wheel take that off and off it comes I should have pulled that part before really Uh, outer tight rod, good. $21, that's good. And then back over here. And we'll get that fitted into place. Fantastic. So, we have completed car there. $635, finished job, and now on to our final car of the day. We usually do four. Um, we have got a choice of poor brake performance, which we've really done quite a lot of brakes recently, or a knocking noise from the engine bay, which sounds a lot more interesting, so we'll take that one. Don't really want to be repeating myself too much, although we already are. Try and keep it as, as uh, good as possible. Okay, whoa, look at that. Get my sunglasses out. Hard to look at. So, um, yep, we'll check what's wrong. Clutch release bearing. Hmm, that's different. We will have to examine this. I'm sure we can do it from here. Examination mode. Now, the clutch is going to be within. Can't really see from there. That is going to be all between the gearbox and the engine. So, hmm, this is going to be quite a bit more challenging, I think. We'll put it on the lifter. This will make it easier. But, yeah, it's going to be uh, bigger challenges. We'll buy the part so we don't have to keep coming out. Let's check what it is again. Clutch release bearing. Doesn't sound too expensive, really. Just a bearing. Sounds annoying having to do all that work for a bearing. Clutch release bearing. Clutch release bearing, $35. Yeah, not a bad price. Not a big part, but clearly a big part when it comes to running a car. So, where to start? Just here, I'd say. We, it looks like we're going to have to remove the gearbox for this. And then we have to remove these. And then we have to remove the wheels. So, basically working our way in till we get to the centre. Do we have to remove anything else? No. Just that one. And now on to our other side. If I can see it. And then, where are we? We want to be removing the front drive shaft, I think, if it comes to the gearbox. Yep, remove that. I'm gonna get a better view here. Can't really see, we have to go around to here. So what else do you have to remove to get that off? Aha, starter, accessible from the engine bay. Okay, lower that down again then. And then back up on the lifter again. I'm sure we probably could have removed the starter. I suppose it would be just a bit aching on your arms if you're always holding your arms up to remove a starter. 
Um, so, next we want to be gearbox, many bolts. And then, aha, here we go, clutch release bearing. All of that for that one little part. This is gonna make it expensive, I suppose, because it's labor, not just parts. Get the new one in, get the gearbox back on. Put the many, many bolts back in. I really want the impact wrench so we can do this quickly, instead of using a ratchet. Put the center bolt back in there. Put the wheel back on here. Go around to this side. Center bolt, and then the wheel. We then have to do the starter motor. Get back under the bonnet again. We better be getting paid a lot for this. The amount of time it would have taken. Car Mechanic Simulator makes everything look so simple. That's what I love about it. And I think that is everything. I don't think we missed anything off. So, um, yeah, we will let this car go. And we get $69. I feel mildly ripped off despite it not costing me a penny. They're not taking into account labor. Oh, well, <laughs> we'll let it go. And uh, hopefully the owner is impressed by their new clutch release bearing. Finished job and we're finished for today. So thanks for watching everyone and you can join me in tomorrow's video for some farming simulator. Bye for now.